What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, you know, I really random. And today we are talking about periods. So, um, men, you can click off. Uh, women, you can stay. Um, I want to thank you really quickly to Araceli Espinosa and Cool Breeze because without you guys, I wouldn't be putting out three videos a week. Yeah, you heard it. I've been putting out three videos a week since the beginning of July. So, be proud of me. Yay! So, um, let's go ahead and get into to the meat and potatoes of what I want to talk about. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay, so pause for a second. Y'all might be wondering why I'm wearing a swimsuit. I was going to do a try on swimsuit haul and I even recorded like a little bit of like an intro or something like that. Hey, Editor Aaliyah here. I'm just popping into this try on haul to ask you guys, would you guys be interested in a bikini slash swimsuit try on haul? Um, this is a swimsuit that I will not be wearing in that because she's a little too little. However, I do have a couple more swimsuits that I got specifically to go to the Bahamas. And I thought, well, if people want to see that, I could do a try on haul while I'm in the Bahamas. So I thought that that could bring everything together. I don't know. But just let me know down below in the comments. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Nobody really said they wanted to see a try on haul and I felt like I could do that at any time. Excuse me, I hurt my thumb nail. <laughs> Let me just take a picture real quick of this so it can be my thumbnail. Yeah, I hurt my thumbnail trying to put this little bitty swimsuit on. It's too small because of my boobs. It can fit in like the stomach and the waist and stuff like that, but it's a lot of pressure. Dun 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 dun. A lot of pressure, just kind of like the pressure that I feel to have a child. Our sponsor for today, and I don't know if we can even call them a sponsor, but our sponsor recently sent us some period panties. Hio sent us some period panties. Um, and so if you want the link or the code, let me go ahead and put it on the screen. But we're going to be talking about periods today because I feel like we don't talk about periods enough. And I wanted to talk to you guys about my journey and um, into adulthood, I guess, because there's a lot of talk right now about if, you know, if she's on her period, she's ready for certain things in life, which I know as women, we already are like, wait a minute, what? But, um... I want to talk a little bit about uh, puberty for me. It pretty much started when I was in the uh, fifth grade when I started to get boobs. But even though I had boobs, I really didn't start having a period until much later. I started my period in like, I want to say high school because I know I was getting constantly getting sick back to back to back. It was so bad at one point that I couldn't even go to school my first two days of having my period. I would uh, redub those days as my clean out day because I would be bleeding, sh pooping, pooping and throwing up constantly. Um, it would be like I'm in class and my stomach would boil, 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 bubble and troil, and I'd have to run out of the classroom so I could make it to the bathroom so I could throw up into the bathroom. And it got so regular that I was like, hey, mom, there's an issue going on. This is really bad. Um, and we went to the doctor and the doctor didn't do any ultrasounds or anything like that. He said, well, if you're in pain because of your period, you need to take pain pills. And I tried to explain to him that like I'm pooping, diarrhea, throwing up, like the pain pills aren't gonna stay down, but it really just came to, oh, well, the only reason you're sick is because, you know, you know you're not really sick. Um, again, my, my doctor was a white male. I had him my entire childhood, so I don't know how that really goes. But um, later on, my cousin, I believe, got diagnosed with um, endometriosis or something like that. And it was like, oh, 
you have bad periods too. Aaliyah has bad periods. Maybe there was something there. But at that point, I had already went ahead and um, as soon as I could, got on birth control. Now, the first birth control that I got on was Implanon. Now, Implanon is like one of those sticks that they put into your arm. I think I still kind of have the scar of it. I got it taken out in Korea because when I went away to Korea, um, my uh, birth mother died. My adoptive mother found out about the things that happened with my brother. And um, I kind of felt like I was losing grasp on a family. So I truly wanted to become a mother. Even when I was young, my biggest desire was to be a mom. Like, you know, when people are like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said that I wanted to be a mom with two kids and a husband. And my mom, I remember her talking to me about that. She said that she read that and she was like, oh yeah, you know, you're fast. Your little fast self was thinking about having a husband at that age. And I think I was thinking about being a mother and I just thought that you had to have a husband to be a mother. Um, but uh, that also puts me in the direction of, you know, adults can really taint a child's mind, right? When I was like, oh, I want to be a mother, I want to have two kids and a ha and a, um, I didn't even say a handsome husband, but I said two kids and a husband, that's what I want to be in life. And my mom took that from like, I wasn't even in middle school at that time. I think I was like in like the third grade. So that's about eight years old. She took that and was like, oh yeah, you're going to be fast when you grow up. Um... So back to talking about like periods and like motherhood. I don't really talk too often about my periods on my channel. Like they were horrible. They were so horrible when I was growing up. And I guess to a certain extent, I hold off because I'm waiting to be able to tell you guys, hey, I'm pregnant. Hey, I'm pregnant. Well, it seems like that's not gonna happen anytime soon. And I was reached out by Hio to do a product placement sponsorship video or something like that um, to talk about their period paintings. I got them through the mail and I'm just here to let you guys know that I do have them, give you guys the information about them, but I will hold on to them for when I have a real period, which I just ended my period, sadly. Oh yeah, I know. But, um... On another note, I've been having problems with my current period, which is my current period comes whenever she feels like it. And I'm thinking that I might have to change something in my life for my periods to kind of be balanced. And I don't know what to do. So that is the thing. I'm going to the doctor today, actually, for her to check my cervical. And, you know, I don't think there's going to be anything that she can really check once she like scrapes it and she's like, okay, no diseases. So um, on top of that, me and Stuart just canceled our health insurance because Stuart is working a little less and I not working, but surprise, surprise, I kind of got a job yesterday. Um, but even then, I don't think that's a lot of money into the household for us to be paying $500 a month for um, health insurance. And all we've done is go to the doctor twice. Um, so hopefully we don't do anything to get us sent to the hospital, um, in the next few weeks or the next year. Yeah, the next year. Um, so all together, things have been sort of working out and things have not been working out. I've recorded so many videos of my period being late and I'm like, is this the time? Is this the time? Is this the time? And I never posted them. But I'm going to hold on to them because when it is the time, I'm going to show you guys all of the times where I really sat down and recorded and thought that it was really going to be the time. Because I don't know how people, I don't know just how much people know how much I want to be a mother. And at first it was because... I wanted a family and I still want a family, but I, I still to a certain extent want something to live for. I'm not to the point where I'm like super depressed anymore, but I want something to live for. I want a family. 
and I want, I like, I love the, the sound of children's laughter and like, I, I feel like I have this nurturing aspect in me that has not been tapped into because I don't have a baby yet. So I don't know. That was just me rambling about periods and letting you know, link her down below. Um, much love and positive vibes because my camera is about to. Mm -hmm.